Indonesia has made great strides in developing its public health system and its maternal and child health programs, but many challenges remain. It is estimated that every four minutes a child under five dies from mostly preventable causes, while every hour a woman dies of pregnancy-related causes. A majority of these deaths are in remote or rural areas, where the midwife is mainly responsible for maternal and child health. She is at the heart of each community, giving advice and caring for pregnant mothers, babies, and at times, the whole community. But many of the country's approximately 150,000 midwives have only a limited education, and many were trained some time ago. They have little access to resources or time to update and develop their skills. This led UNICEF to help develop a simple yet effective project, Info Bidan, or the Information for Midwives initiative. The idea is simple yet effective, texting key health messages to midwives in rural areas. UNICEF worked with the Ministry of Health, Nokia and Excel, the third largest mobile service provider in Indonesia, to develop the year-long pilot project. The project involved 200 midwives in two mainly rural districts, Pemalang in central Java and West Lombok in West Nusa Tenggara. It has already successfully reached very remote populations, uh, targeting the midwives with key messages. It serves two purposes, to update their skills and secondly, to remind them of the key messages that they need to transmit to their beneficiaries. UNICEF partnered with the Health Ministry's Promotion Unit, PROMKES, to develop 180 key messages based on UNICEF's Facts for Life book. The texts were then sent three times a week. Excel provided free messaging services. Nokia and UNICEF each provided 100 phones to the midwives, whilst Nokia also developed the final SMS format content and helped UNICEF and the district health authorities train midwives on how to use InfoBidan. Nokia says the project helped bridge communication gaps. We wanted to use this uh, to provide a means to update midwives, those are located in remote areas, about day-to-day -day happenings, about how to handle their patients, and about useful information from UNICEF, also from Promkes. Many midwives in Indonesia work in local health clinics, like this one in Pemalang. Here, they examine pregnant women and answer their questions. This is a perfect time to explain the text messages. Life-saving messages about issues such as nutrition, breastfeeding, and high-risk deliveries. Sangat membantu tugas kami pak, terutama eh, sebagai seorang bidan ya, apalagi kami bidan di desa. Setiap mendapatkan SMS dari Nokia itu saya sendiri memang langsung mendokumentasikan. Jadi pesan-pesan singkat itu bisa langsung saya transfer ke pasien. Kelas ibu hamil. Oke. Okay. Dua kata ibu hamil. Ibu sehat. Tiga kata ibu hamil. Bayi lahir selamat. The Info Bidan project has also inspired midwives in Pemalang to start up classes where the midwives can share these messages and listen to their patients' concerns in a relaxed atmosphere. Nokia Life dari bekerja sama dengan UNICEF. Mungkin tanpa ini saya belum bisa menjawab, tapi ini adalah manfaat yang sangat besar sekali. The messages empower these midwives to provide the correct information. Mothers believe them because they come from UNICEF and the health ministry. One midwife decided to take the messages and make a PowerPoint presentation so everyone could see them and take part in discussions. The midwife doesn't just work in the health clinic. She must also travel to more remote villages to care for her patients, often driving for many kilometers. For midwives like Kusneni, getting a woman in labor to proper medical care is sometimes a matter of life or death. Uh, masyarakat desa Pabuaran itu orangnya ramah-ramah, menyambut saya dengan baik. Uh, orangnya kekeluargaan. Tapi kalau untuk dukanya, kalau setiap saya uh, misalkan uh, menolong persalinan yang kira-kira harus dirujuk, ada kendala atau kegawat daruratan itu susah. Women in high-risk situations often face long journeys to proper medical facilities, making it even more vital that key health messages are easily available. 
Some 1,000 kilometers away lies West Lombok, located just east of Bali, but a world away when it comes to development. Much of the area is rural, and many old wives' tales are still a part of the lives of these communities. Quite often, these beliefs are harmful to both the child and the mother. The text messages are a constant reminder of proper medical treatment and can help new mothers understand why a trained midwife is their best source of information. Dulu memang di sini ada persalinan dukun karena mitos mereka mungkin atau sugesti mereka masih lebih lebih kental ke dukun dibandingkan ke bidan. Tapi setelah lama-lama kita kasih penyuluhan ke pasiennya, ke ibu hamil, akhirnya ibu hamil tahu, oh ternyata selama ini banyak kasus yang dibuat oleh si dukun ini. For other midwives, the project has inspired them to do more for pregnant mothers and create their own communication activities. Di sini saya ada kelas ibu. Jadi di dalam kelas ibu tuh pertemuannya kan empat kali. Di sana dari masalah mulai kehamilan sampai nifas di sana masuk. Jadi saya masukkan semua informasi yang saya dapatkan, saya tambahkan dari info bidan ini juga. Jadi informasi itu selain dari kelas ibu Pada saat ibu itu berkonsultasi, pada saat saya kunjungan rumah neonatal, kunjungan nifas, saya juga menginformasikan ke ibu. Ibu diare itu adalah buang air besar. Here, mothers are learning about one of the main causes of under five mortality, diarrhea, and how to treat it. And key messages that were sent directly to the midwife become useful reminders and can save a mother from the grief of losing a child. A study of the pilot project showed that since receiving the text messages, the midwives had significantly increased their knowledge of key healthcare issues. Pregnant women also had a better understanding of these issues than before. We see great potential in collaboration on the InfoBidan pilot project. As with the large number of mobile phone users in Indonesia, it could become a powerful communication tool for midwife. We hope to continue this collaboration with UNICEF and take it forward to the next phase. Taking the Info Bidan project to the next phase presents a host of new challenges, but ones which can be overcome. We would of course like to scale this up to the entire country, but for this we would need to predict and address operational challenges, technological challenges, and also from the more practical technical standpoint, keep the messages current and fresh to retain its appeal to the beneficiaries. The Info Bidan project can be expanded to include other health information and rolled out into a nationwide program to reach midwives throughout this vast archipelago. Lebih mendetail informasi yang dikasih. Oh, membantu sekali terutama pada ibu-ibu hamil, ibu-ibu bersalin, dan juga para nipas dan juga terutama pada bayi balita. Iya penyakit penyakit dalam kehamilan terus masalah penyakit yang HIV AIDS itu lebih dijelaskan. Kalau dari awal SMS ini semua membantu. Saya pernah pelaksanaan kelas ibu tiba-tiba SMS masuk dua. Jadi tepat sekali gitu pada saat itu langsung kita jelaskan. E, rata-rata ibu-ibu tuh sudah mengerti semua karena di dalam SMS ini juga ada tanda bahaya kehamilan kan juga di sini. Iya kalau dulu kan kita tergantung sama leaflet itu kemana-mana bawa kemana-mana bawa jadi agak ribet kalau ini kan atau sudah dikantongin aja langsung memberitahu kadang dia baca sendiri These midwives devote their lives to the health and well-being of women and children across Indonesia They are the heart of the community Supporting them through projects like Info Bidan can not only help change the way healthcare information is provided but also save lives